welcome to vlog number seven and I am at the rather beautiful Blenheim Palace which is only 20 minutes up the road so I've come here to just explore really today it's a bit of snow left it's um, clear skies as you can see so I'm hoping to get sunset somewhere so I'm just gonna have a look around find something in a west direction see what we can take First, just taking a couple of shots of this lake. Nice bit of sun coming through the trees, so I've just tried to capture a couple of, of images of that. And uh, that might come up nicely in post-processing, but it's a lovely little spot. And the International Space Station's due over about 10 to 6 tonight, so I'm also looking for a little spot where I'd be able to capture that going from west to east. So that's what, another thing I'm on the lookout for tonight. I've come to the side of this pond, actually. It's um, a lovely little spot that I've got there sun over there which means there's some lovely light on the bridge and i've come down low actually because part of the lake is frozen got frozen lake bridge lit by sun some weeds weeds coming out of the out of the pond for a bit of foreground element ducks blenheim palace in the background it's nice i'm gonna turn the camera around to show you So I've just been uh, it's been down down on my knees, getting wet knees actually, which is a bit of a schoolboy when I'm hoping to be out for a couple of hours in the cold. But I got right down next to the lake and had some pictures of the bridge like I said before. Also tried to get some of the weeds with a bit of perspective there and I've just taken a couple of pictures of the ducks that are just milling about. So cracking location and hoping, really hoping that I've got a couple of good shots already and still scouting out to the best location to spot the ISS. I'd love to get a picture of that with something in the in the background, but I know it goes high, so I'm just trying to find out where I'd get the right perspective. So bear with the vlog. We'll see if we get that shot later on. Let's not leave gloves lying on round on the floor. So there on that bridge, let's get focused. That's where we started from. So I've walked down there, took a couple of pictures coming across here. Went down there, that's where I was filming down by the ducks. Trees around there. I'm just walking. And I'm off down there to loop all the way back around. Hoping, I think over there is where I'm gonna capture the International Space Station, if I catch it anywhere. All right, hats off. Worked up a bit of sweat, actually. I'm on a bit of a walk. It says three miles, about an hour. And actually, it's about half three in the afternoon. Sun's still up in the sky. So by the time I loop back round to the palace, hoping that we'll get a nice red sky from the sunset. And um, then I can find my spot in the International Space Station. Oh, it's coming at four. Four? No, about quarter past four, I think. And... Um, Oh, that's a nice bridge, and then I noticed the work going on. But we've got the sun setting behind, so we've got some nice, nice skies, as you can see where I focus there. On my iPhone for this vlog, rather than my Canon, because it's just easier to whip out of my pocket. But uh, I'm going to loop back round now. I've got about another miles walk, and then see if I can get some sunset pics. And then I'm going to settle in and wait for the ISS to come overhead. I think I, I think I know the spot. Going right back round to Burnham Palace, and um, sorry about the shake, I'll stop. It just occurred to me that there's one great big problem with my ambition to see the International Space Station tonight. It's the cloud that I think is rolling in. 
I was just happily walking along thinking, I'll go and get set up, I'll get a drink, I'll go get set up, but I was like, oh shit. So let's try and get, maybe something will materialise in the clouds there, in terms of a sunset, but I'm actually not hopeful now, like the Ancestral Space Station. A bit sad about that. Just walked all the way down there, my camera gear is at the top. I hope everyone that's walking past is trustworthy, but I've just come down right to the lake side. I'm gonna try and show you, hopefully you can see the sort of shot I'm trying to get there. Some lovely, lovely colors. And uh, the bridge. So really nice place to, to be right now, actually. I'm going to move around over to the side there. I'm going to sit, chill, have an apple, watch the last bit of light, and um, pretty happy. I think I've got some good photos today. I think that has a lot to do with the location. Location, nice light, and uh, nice conditions. So I'm looking forward to getting home and looking at my pictures. But uh, there are a couple more videos if I take any more images, but I'm quite happy with what I've taken today. I'm, I'm hopeful of a few good ones. <laughs> noise that they just made. So, just on the cannon for a little bit. I'm very aware of, um, of the shake that you get when I'm talking on the phone, although it was easy to, to whip out. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just caught, I don't know if you can see that, two ducks just walking over the, uh, over the ice there, just make sure I'm in focus. So, just sat on the side of this lake gorgeous as it is definitely a few degrees colder now that the sun's gone down but quite peaceful now not many people on the on the blenheim estate some blue sky has appeared clouds are sort of thinned out a bit and around 50 minutes until the international space station comes over i know it's coming from west to east it always comes from west to east it's gonna be highs about 87 degrees i think at its peak it's going to rise and then it's sort of up and out of uh, out of focus. So I was going to go. I just sat down. I've had an apple, a cup of coffee, a cup of hot chocolate. Took a, look, a last couple of pictures, and now I'm like, I might be able to get the ISS. So I'm not going to vlog video anymore. I'm going to finish it there. Hope you've enjoyed this walk round Blenheim. I will finish with the pictures that I I took at the end of this vlog. And hopefully, just hopefully, there might be one of the International Space Station in there. We'll see. Okay, thank you ever so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.